Hey everyone, it's Oz here. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple trap beat uh, using a free software, GarageBand, which is completely free if you own any kind of Apple Mac products, an iMac, MacBook, whatever. I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to create simple beats using GarageBand and you don't need to buy anything crazy like Logic Pro X or Ableton. Uh, straight away you can basically start learning from GarageBand working your way up towards the other softwares. Just before we begin please remember to subscribe and like the video if you genuinely like the video I'd really appreciate it. That being said let's get right into it. Starting the minors. I like the D minor, D minor is nice. Kinda of sounds good, let's bring that back. Right, I'm gonna ch change this and now to It's a bit slow, so I'll speed this up to see how that sounds. That's better. Now let's add a bass line. So copy that same thing, duplicate it. Let's go. Just get rid of all this. Probably make that different, maybe like a vintage. Eighties bit rate synth. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Now we can add maybe a flute. We're looking for a flute. Uh, we've got some plugins, complete control plugin. Not bad. Let's try that. That's not too bad. I kind of like this one actually. Sounds more Japanese. Yeah, we'll go with this one.
perfect. Get rid of the beginning, extra nonsense, bring that back. <clears throat> Say it all together. I feel like I want to add some kind of bells or something, something slightly different. So just add a new instrument. Let me just write bells here. No, that sounds dumb. Dreamy bells. See, I like dreamy bells. That sounds good. Let's go with that. I think now we need a bass, a bass line. Okay. The one I normally go for is, let me just hear this. That. Just play around with the bass sounds a bit. Mm. Distortion up. Maybe just a bit. So now we just need to add the drums. Um, I find that uh, GarageBand has some amazing preset drum sequences like the Trap Drummer, for example. I'll just put that here. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna show you guys. As soon as you drag that in, I haven't done nothing but just put it in. So let's hear this. Actually, let's hear it here. Already it just sounds amazing, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to do anything. You can also tweak it a bit, like here you can do the complexity to loud, let's do neutral. So a bit more, less movement. Keep it more simple, and there's not that much. Kind of like it simple as well. So other things you can do with this is basically mess around with the equalizer and that what that does is basically fine tunes the music down. Um, so you leave enough gaps for each sound to have its own fill. So for example, let's go into this, uh, the piano segment. You can see <clears throat> in the uh, EQ, okay, let me just move this. So 
So because this is a bit more of a the bass notes, I can use the low pass filter and bring it up a bit. Equalize this. Maybe. Now let's hear the whole thing here. Basically, I just want to remind you guys that GarageBand is basically free. All the sounds that I've used here, either from GarageBand or, for example, the, the, uh, the flute sound is from Complete Control, Native Instruments, that's completely free. So you can create really good music from free software like GarageBand. You don't need nothing fancy. Uh, it's a great starting point. I myself have been using it for about six months and um, yeah, it's worked out fine for me. 